So you're in Microsoft Word and you want to know how to indent. Now there are three types of indent you can apply. You can apply an indent to the whole paragraph as I've done here. You can apply an indent to the first line only, which I've done here. And you can also apply what's called a hanging indent. And that's what I've done with these three paragraphs. And you can see it's the opposite to a first line indent. The first line isn't indented but the other lines within the paragraph are. So I'll show you how to create all three types of indent. Let's start off with a paragraph indent. Now, if you just want to do it for a single paragraph, just click into that paragraph. If you want to do it for more than one paragraph, just select all the paragraphs that you want to apply the indent to. So we'll just do it for a single paragraph. Now there's various ways we can apply an indent to a paragraph. The first way I look at is on the home tab of the ribbon in the paragraph group. And you've got two buttons here, decrease indent and increase indent. So if I click on increase indent, you can see it indents the whole paragraph. If I click on decrease indent, it outdents the paragraph. Now there's a shortcut key for that as well. Control M on your keyboard will indent and Control Shift M will outdent. Now by default, Word will indent by half an inch. You can see that on the ruler here. If you can't see the ruler, go to view and then tick ruler here. If you want to change the measurements on your ruler, say from inches to centimeters or vice versa, then you go to file, options, advanced, scroll down the list till you see a section called display. And then there's a setting, show measurements in units of, and you can change it to one of these other settings. I'll keep it on inches. So as I said, half an inch is the default indent. And I want to show you how you can change that default. So I'll just outdent this paragraph. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this little paragraph launcher. And then in this dialog box, I'm gonna go down to tabs. And this is the default that you can change. So if I change this to one inch, and I now click on this button here to indent the paragraph, you can see it indents to one inch. I'm just gonna change it back to half an inch. So back to my paragraph launcher, tabs, and then I'll just put 0.5 in there. Now, another way you can indent a whole paragraph is to use this little indent control up on the ruler. Now it's actually made up of three parts. I think it looks like an egg timer at the top here. So you've got your first line indent at the very top there. Then the lower part of the egg timer is the hanging indent. And then you've got a rectangle underneath both of those elements, which controls the whole paragraph. So if I drag that rectangle, you can see it indents the whole paragraph. Now, so far we've only been talking about indenting from the left margin. On the ruler, you can also indent from the right margin and you can see this little right indent control over here. I can also drag that over and it will indent on the right side of the paragraph. Now, if you want a little bit more control over these indents, what you can do is go to the paragraph launcher and you've got your left and right indent settings here. So for example, I could say 1.3 inches on the left and 1.3 on the right. Okay, let's talk about first line indents. Now initially we'll apply it to a single paragraph, this one here. And the easiest way to apply a first line indent is to click in front of the first word in that paragraph and then use the tab key on your keyboard. And again, it's going to tab to 0.5 of an inch by default, but you do know now how to change that default by going into this tabs dialog box. Another way you can indent the first line of a paragraph is to go up to the ruler and drag this first line indent control over to the left. If you want to fine tune your indent, go back into the paragraph launcher and you can specify a first line indent here. By default, the special setting will be set to none, but you can set it to first line and input a by value. 
Now I've done that for a single paragraph. If I wanted to do the same thing for multiple paragraphs, I would just select the paragraphs and then I can either use the ruler to apply the first line indent or go into the paragraph launcher and apply it. Okay, let's move on to hanging indents. We're going to apply hanging indents to these three paragraphs here. What we want is the name of the insecticide to be separated from the actual description of the insecticide. And this is where hanging indents are really useful. Now, I think the easiest way of applying hanging indents is not via the ruler, it's a little bit fiddly, but it's to go into the paragraph launcher and then in this special drop down, select hanging and then enter a by value. So I'm going to say that's 1.5 inches and then I'm going to click on OK. Now what that's done on the ruler is move this part of the indent control over to 1.5. Now I want to keep the name of the insecticide on the left margin, but the remainder of the text indented at 1.5 inches. So all I do now is I click in front of that text which needs to be indented and I press tab on the keyboard. So it gives the impression that I've got some sort of table structure within the document, but I haven't. I've just used hanging indents. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.